there, I'm Ken, and you're watching Celts Can Cook, a Scottish cooking channel that encourages young men and women to have the confidence and competence they need to conquer the kitchen. <laughs> now, for those of you following our social media presence, you may remember today was supposed to be a tofu recipe. No promise. Here it is. That's right, met my own side effects. Now, I was meant to put this episode out, but at the last second, I got really excited about what we're going to show you today, which is chocolate chip cookies. I love it, you love it, let's be about it, shall we? Now, what makes our recipe special is we're not only using hazelnut, but we're also going to be freezing our dough for a long period of time. We're going to start with a bag of hazelnuts, or at Philbert, as I'd call them. Special thanks to my friends at Rupp Farms for uh, getting this to us. These are top quality hazelnuts, by the way. We're going to roast these in our cooker for about uh, 14 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Or 15 minutes, doesn't really matter. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take frozen butter and warm it up to room temperature. I recommend just leaving it sit out for a while. Hey, You don't want to microwave it if you can avoid it. We're going to take both of our sticks of butter, so about a cup's worth of butter, and we're going to stick it into a giant bowl. And we're going to add our uh, granulated sugar. If you've got icing sugar, that's fine too, or confectioner sugar, that's fine too. But um, you're going to want, to, instead of using a full cup, you're going to want to add about three quarters cup of uh, uh, icing sugar. Uh, because otherwise it's going to be a very dry cookie. Uh, oh, and a cup of brown sugar. Uh, put it in a blender. And we're just going to blend that up. We want all this to kind of blend together. Looks nice and smooth. Just keep it going until it's nice and smooth together. See that? Looks kind of like wet sand. There we go. Now they're perfect. You see how they're kind of brown there in the middle? They were purely white. Now a little bit brown. That's how they're roasted. Just right. Now we're going to take an egg and we're going to blend it in slowly. If you crack it into a bowl first, you can see if you've got any shell. And you can just pick it off nice and easy. And if you do it an egg at a time, uh, I don't know, I'm sure there's some sort of reason for it. That's just what the recipe called for. This is my dad's recipe, by the way. I just kind of improved it for my own uses. Crack a second egg. Oh, look, I've got a giant piece of shell in there. Pop it out. If I just popped that right into the bowl first, it'd be much harder to grab the shell. About two teaspoons of vanilla, or a splash or two. You don't really need to measure the vanilla. And our baking soda. Now, baking soda, we're going to mix in some warm water, about uh, two teaspoons of water to, I think it's a teaspoon of baking soda. I I've got it down in the, uh, oh yeah, one teaspoon. Yes. Anyway, uh, for all directions, I'm now pinning the comment. The first comment in this video is going to be the full recipe. Yeah, so if you've got any questions, you just go back to that. And you're gonna put your dissolved baking soda into your dough and add a wee bit of sugar. Oh, I'm sorry, that's salt. It's not sugar at all. I think that's a half teaspoon. Once again, check the uh, recipe down the bottom. And then we're just going to blend it all up nice and good. Next, we're going to add in our flour. It's about three cups worth. We're going to want to add it in all at once, I figure. Why not? And we're going to want to make sure this all blends nicely. Now, as you can tell, I got a bit of a, a bit of a manky blender. It does the job, but it's not especially good. It doesn't self-rotate. I've got to constantly spin it myself. We're going to take off that uh, that shell. Takes a bit of time, but you don't really want that in your cookies. Next, we're going to pop all our nuts into a bag. I uh, just like so. And we're going to put down a shock absorber. We want that wicker to, to act as a medium between the smashing hammer and the uh, concrete, or the countertop. You don't want to crack a countertop. I mean, maybe you do. I don't. Now we're going to add in our hazelnuts, two cups of semi-sweet chocolate morsels, and blend it all nice. Now, mine looks a lot chunkier than yours should. Partly that's because it's took me about an hour from the time I started this recipe to the time uh, this part of the filming process happened. Next, we're going to take some uh, plastic wrap, line a baking pan, and just dump it all out. You see, that's what you get when you've got... Uh, 
A dough that's not properly mixed. You get a bunch of flour down at the bottom. It settles. As long as it doesn't take you an hour to mix everything together, shouldn't happen. But it took me an hour, so it happened. We'll pop that in the freezer, and this is some dough I made earlier. Look at how fine it is. This has been frozen for about a D. We're going to take a knife, we're going to cut it into eh, about one ounce uh, chunks. Maybe an ounce and a half. Hard to tell. And then we're just going to pop the rest back into our freezer. This way we can make dough, make, make cookies as we want them. We don't have to do the entire batch all at once. Oh, don't they look fine? Yes, they do. That's a prime camera right there, I tell you what. Oh, look, one extra. Time to eat it. We can put these in our cooker for about uh, 14 minutes at about 350 degrees. And then... Oh, look at how delicious those are. They're big, fluffy... Yeah, big, fluffy uh, cookies. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I'm Ken, and you're watching Kelt Can Cook, the Scottish cooking channel that encourages young men and women to have the confidence and competence they need to conquer the kitchen. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe next time we meet, this stupid quarantine will be over. <laughs>